everyone welcome back to another video of mine if you are new to my channel hello my name is Jessie so today I will show you how I depotted my wet n wild eyeshadows and if you guys wanted to see how I did this just go ahead and keep on watching so today I will be depotting quartz center I've actually depotted two of my wet n wild eyeshadow palettes already which is the nude awakening which is in a packaging like this this is actually Walmart exclusive both of these and the reason why I did not depot bare necessities anymore is because this coming in latte which I have already depotted as well is very similar to that palette so that's what it looks like and I also got this magnetic sheet at Walmart it's um, below two dollars but almost two dollars I could not remember the exact price and you will be getting two sheets and what I like about this is that um, on the other side it's kind of like in, in a it has like an adhesive side so it's very easy to use into almost anything that you wanted uh, so yeah let, without further ado let's start so if you are departing from this kind of palette which is the one from uh, Walmart what you need to do first is for you to remove the sticker at the back remove everything and it should look like this like what I mentioned I used heat for this one but as you can see I didn't really burn the whole plastic area I just gave it enough heat so that the glue from the pan that is sticking from this one and the the what I call this palette itself will melt and it's just going to be very easy for you to remove it so as you can see it looks like that because I've seen some uh, videos that do this they end up like literally burning everything which I mean which I think it doesn't really have to be that way you just really need to give enough heat for the pan to like just enough heat to make the glue a little less tacky you know what I mean so for this specific palette I'm going to use my spatula Again, this is the Walgreens and Rite Aid exclusive Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette. I'm going to try to poke the sides just like this. Again, be very careful. Don't go like full force all at once because you're just going to end up breaking the eyeshadows and then you're going to cry and then it's just going to be miserable. <laughs> so doing it like that. Just take your time. I love depotting. It's a really nice stress reliever and I always enjoy doing it. So once you hear that click, you are very close in getting the whole palette. So just scoot up your spatula just like that. Again, do it very carefully. You don't want everything to break. The reason why I'm depotting my eyeshadows because these are kind of like my favorite drugstore eyeshadows right now. The quality is so good and not to mention they are just $6 per palette. Imagine that. And they are so creamy and so pigmented. I have I actually did a review about this already so if you want to know how good they are just... Oh my gosh, did something break? Okay, now that I have successfully removed this... It's time to go to the stove and heat it up. You can use a straightening iron, you can use a blow dryer, but I'm a little impatient, so I'm gonna use the stove. So yeah, let's go. All right, now I'm here at my stove counter and then I'm just going to turn it on and put it in the lowest heat. Oh my gosh, it just opened my pores. So I'm gonna start from here. I really find it easier, I mean, alright, I'm just going to shut up because I don't know what I'm talking about right now. And then just check. That's a good sign right there, you can see that, kind of like sweating a little bit. Oops. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to try to shag it. Just check if it's already loose. Oops. Oh no, it's breaking a bit. See? The glue at the bottom just melted already. It's nice. So again, you don't need to be like a psycho 
burning the plastic and all that you just really need a decent amount of heat to make the glue less tacky if you are having a hard time removing the palette from the the oh like that one see what happened i forced the situation now it's Ireland. good job love it just gonna heat it up not to mention that's one of the pretty colors <laughs> I always end up like not using some of my palettes that's why I really want to do this because if they are all together in one pan it makes it easier for me to decide which color to use for that particular day I don't know if I make sense but yeah I just really want them together all in one pan So it should be like that. It removes, like, it separates from the container effortlessly once you get enough heat from... Oops. Be careful. So I'm just going to finish this up because I don't want you guys to die in boredom. And I will be right back. I like it how I could not remove the sticker. All right, there you go. And then I'm just going to clean it first. Make sure that there is no powder because it's not going to stick if there is a powder right there. And then just directly stick it like that. Ta-da! So you can just either measure your whole palette and put the magnetic thing there but I just chose to do this one instead I know it's a little it's an additional work but you will be saving magnetic strips so yeah that's the reason why I did it and just in case I transfer it from a different palette for like my travel Z palette something like that I've actually separated the matte ones and the shimmer ones and I'm trying to put them from lightest to darkest just like that So it's midnight. By the way guys, I also have a video of deponing without heat, so if you guys are interested to see that as well, I will put the link down below. So this is the finished product. I absolutely love how organized is it, 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 uh, it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate myself. I love how organized this is. These are just from my old palette that I just destroyed. I just don't really want to have like an empty space here. These are all my customized palettes so far and I will add more because I'm addicted to depotting right now. So yeah, I hope you guys find this video helpful. Do like this video if you do. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe because I upload Mondays to Fridays. And if you are still not part of the Sassy family, I just repeated myself like holy shit. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, love you.